man say it's gonna rain He says it's gonna pour And I've been out of my bed since six Laid my head down at four I see the sun creeping over the buildings as I drive I'm looking forward to never letting a beautiful day slip by been burning my candle at both ends for far too long I've been lying on myself saying this is the way we all get along and I decided to date up and walk away and feel no end of remorse I traded my car for a fishing pole and I saddled for miles cause I'm free ain't nothing gonna stand in my way and I'm it's not all you can say Cause I spent my days not working for me And I'm gonna set myself free A man can't really breathe out here He can take it all in There ain't no moving or shaking could ever take the place of an early spring and just as far as the eye can see still go further road down the road it's the only place inside of this world that's big enough for my soul cause I'm free ain't nothing gonna stand in my way and I'm free and there's not a word that you can't say cause I spent my days not working for me Gonna set myself free I look back on my life today and laughed aloud to myself Work my tail off every day, put my happiness on the shelf And I had to take my time, take what's mine and Look back and say that I'm glad I had the chance to take my life and walk away. Walk away. Marker, marker. <laughs> Little things in there. Look to me, jerk. And Frank. So how did you guys meet? We were leading worship together, actually, at Florida Southern. And um, I was playing bass. She was a singer and was putting together, uh, was kind of like the leader of all of it, student leader of all of it. And then there was a coffee house, um, fair trade coffee house, open mic night on campus. And I asked her if she wanted to do a song with me. and. It went really well. Everyone seemed to, to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So we were like, well, let's keep doing this. And I already had um, a duo at the time, and so we just put it right in. We sang a lot of the wine bars in the area. Yeah. Do you guys, like, do you have a musical family? Like, how is that? Did your parents play or anything Not like that? at all. Really? No. Not at all. no. I think uh, they might have been elementary school course. Yeah. That's pretty much the extent my, of uh, my, my family. Did, when did you guys find out you're like musicians or like writers? Uh, I've been singing since I was literally like two years old. Really? And I just, I loved it. Yeah. What's some of the music you guys listen to now? Like, 
I mean, I think we both listen to very different. Everything. I li- I'm right now. I've been in like a um, trying to write for as many different styles as I can get my hands around, and and so I've, I'm listening to like everything. It's it's just chock full. Yeah. Are you guys from this area, like Lakeland? Or I'm South from Florida. Naples. She's from Port Charlotte. Mm-hmm. She's from Port Charlotte. Yeah, we just happen to go to the same school and mm-hmm. just kind of stuck. So what's like next for you guys? Like, what's, you guys going on tour? Is there like something? Yeah, we're leaving for tour. Her and I are going on tour as a duo tour in April. So um, we're we're gonna be hitting up through Nashville and through Atlanta. Um, so like Atlanta, Chattanooga, and Nashville, and then all the kind of outskirts cities of Nashville, yeah. all the way up to St. Louis and Louisville and stuff, and then back across to Durham and then south. The blue when you want me, the gray when you're mad, green when you're happy, not when you're sad. Right? Sometimes they look like they're between the lines. That's how I know that you're just fine. Mm-hmm. When your eyes lock onto my eyes, it feels like. The end of time Some say That the eyes can tell What the heart has The heart has felt Cause the blue when you want me The gray when you're mad Green when you're happy Not when you're sad But sometimes they look like They're between the lines That's how I know that you're just fine mm, And you're just fine Yeah, yeah, yeah The blue when you want me, the gray when you're mad, green when you're happy, not when you're sad. But sometimes they look like they're between the lines. That's how I know that you're just fine. So like people that are watching this, like uh, younger kids, like they want to be singer songwriters. What kind of advice would you give them? Like, what would you tell them? Like, hey, this is how you start. Or... <laughs> Go ahead. Um, get out of your own way. I know for the longest time, and still, I get in my own way, and I feel like I block myself from being as creative as I possibly can be. Right. Um, it's writing is not the easiest. Sometimes it comes to people really naturally, and sometimes it doesn't. Usually you have to get through a lot of uh, cheesy lines that you force out of yourself to get something. Um, some people start writing the instruments first, then the lyrics. So it all just depends on on which way. But 
what I'm learning from Brian and us kind of writing separately and writing together is really don't be afraid to try different ways of writing. Don't right. be afraid to try different ways of like exploring options, whether you want to try this style or this route. Don't be afraid to have a chunk that you can just cross up like, eh, that doesn't work and you can yeah. fit pieces together. You don't have to just That's important. be so, like I structure, I am very controlling <laughs> and I'm very impatient. So right. with me and writing, it's just, I if I start writing, I usually just finish the song right then and there. If right. I start writing and I set it aside, I usually never can get back to it. It's so hard to get in that mindset. I mean, if I'm heartbroken, I'm like, oh, boom, there's a song. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, easy. It's, yeah, dramatic, dramatic extremes emotionally are very easy to write about for everybody because right. it's, it's immediately inspiring. The other side of it is don't stop. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of times the first line that you come out with will seem um, unnecessary or it'll seem young or it'll seem, well, this isn't right. This doesn't sound right. right. The key is that I found with writing is if you stop, you stop a creative flow. And when you stop that creative flow, it acts like a dam in a river. It's yeah. still there. You still have to remove the dam to get water through. So when you come back to it, you know, six months later to write a song, that block is still gonna be there. You're gonna you're in you're walking back right into where you stop. So keep going, give everything a breath, because most of the songs I've written, I'll write five, ten verses, and then I'll finally hit something where I'm like, that's really good. I wanna stick with this. You know, and, and then it's hash from there. Um, and the other thing of it is your first hundred songs, they say, are really going to be, they're going to be rough. You know, it's, it's going to take, some people it takes 10, some people it takes 100. Mm -hmm. You just have to keep writing, keep writing. You don't have to share it with everybody, but you got to keep writing. Right. That's the key. And honestly, something I found is voice memo on your phone or oh, some kind of... how valuable is that? Because you'll, you'll <laughs> sing something or you'll, you'll think of a melody line and then you'll forget it. And then it's gone. You can mm -hmm. like almost never free. get it back. I wrote free. <laughs> um, the, fir the first song we played, I wrote the verse and the chorus to that in a voice memo driving down to Fort Myers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. Well, because so. it'll just come to you whether you're in the shower. I do. I drive a lot and write. Um, so it's just easy to just click voice memo. Just don't text. Right. Just driving. don't text and drive. Yeah, don't do that. It's but... Bad. If, if you don't document it right then and there, because you'll be like, oh, that was so great. What did I just do? And you can just play it back. Right. So I've learned, I've lost so many moments because I'm like, well, I have no idea what I just did and how right. it went down. I mean, if I could just voice memo constantly, it would probably That'd save me. get me into trouble. Yeah. It would get us into trouble, but That'd it would get me into save us in the musical spectrum. <laughs> All right, last question. Okay. Is, uh, is this fire hot? Oh my god. Can you see, cameraman? Right can you, you see how much up. I'm sweating right now? I was hoping somebody would catch on fire and get this, that way, you know? This is, uh, this is a new kimono, and it's not catching on fire. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. This is crazy hot. Well, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Really yeah. enjoyed it. Thanks. Thanks for having All me. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Make a run for it, dear Cause it's been so long since I've seen the coast The banks of the lake come only so close Can we make a beeline out of here? Tequila at night, laying in the sand, I felt so right. When you take my arm, I stand on our toes, salt in our eyes. Making beach angels underneath the stars in the sky. Stay.
been the Brian Sutherland Band here live at the Music Range. Check us out at BrianSutherlandBand.com. Thank you. It is hot as balls up here. I feel like I am on trial right now. Oh my goodness. since six, laid my head down at four. I see the sun creeping over the buildings as I drive. I'm looking forward to never letting a beautiful day slip by. 